What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the video. The last video I uploaded, it's kind of a jumbo mess. Just kind of was a quick vlog to do over the weekend. It turned out to be a whole weekend ordeal. Today we're doing something very interesting. I'm gonna go check out another vehicle. I'm gonna possibly be doing a trade for the Project Mustang. So, uh, I know I'm kind of rushing doing this right now because we're actually kind of running late to get there. The guy actually lives like super far away, but we're kind of meeting in the middle. Um, so it's gonna take me about 45 minutes to get there. It turns out that, that there's like traffic. So it's gonna take us, yeah, it should take like half an hour, but it's gonna take like 45, maybe an hour to get there. But I probably won't film the whole process of checking out the car and everything like that. Um, just, you know, just for respect for the other person, but I will check back in with you guys. Hopefully, you know, while we're there and uh, I'll give you guys either a thumbs up or the thumbs down just seeing what's gonna happen and yeah I guess after this we will go from there but yeah I'm going me and my fiance we're gonna go together we're just gonna ride together just always nice to have someone else there especially when you're doing anything like this it's just a nicer just thing to have someone else there with you you never know just in case but yeah without further ado let's do this What's up guys? So, long story short, just got done looking at the other vehicle. I'm just sitting here in this parking lot at a Lowe's. It was interesting. I'm not fully sure yet. We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. All right guys, so I just went into Lowe's. I found out my exhaust is completely hanging down now. I'm gonna try to fix it. I just got some of this stuff for right now to try to just patch it because this sucks. Hopefully we can just get this tucked up there just for right now to get us home. I knew I kept hearing something dragging. That's unfortunate that just happened right now, but let's see if we can fix it really quick. There's a piece of there's a piece of frame I'm gonna just attach it to for right now. And this is literally the most jankiest thing I've ever done. I literally used a whole bunch of zip ties just to kind of get it so it's not hanging down. Hopefully it doesn't melt. I did like a ton of different attachments, so it'll just stick there for right now. It's there, so that's the important thing. At least for right now. Hopefully this will get us home without too much troubles. All right, what's up guys and welcome back to the video now. Well, just got back home from work. This is actually like mm, two days later. Actually, I was like, well, yeah, technically it's one day later, I should say. I went to go look at the car yesterday. As you can tell, I still have the car behind me. Um, long story short, the guy went to go check out the vehicle. Um, I don't know. He's kind of, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to read like one minute when i when he first initially messaged me it was over this weekend he's like hey i have a truck do you want to do a trade are you interested in this and i was like okay yeah cool 
you know, we went through like exchanging some information about it a little bit more and more. Then he was like, hey, can you meet up today? I was like, okay, cool. You want to meet up? Let's meet up. Um, then a couple hours later, he was just like, man, um, I can't make it out today. So I was like, okay, cool. No problem. Uh, Monday passed and it was Tuesday. I messaged him. I was like, oh, hey, I don't know if you're still interested or not, but, uh, you know, if you are, let me know. And he was like, oh, yeah, I am so interested. You want to meet up today? I was like, okay. So we met up. And, yeah, that was the day we met up. Today's Thursday. So, no, yeah, it was two days ago. Man, I, my days are all mixed up. Anyways, long story short, met up with the guy again. Me and the fiance, we went together, check out the car. It seemed like it was in decent shape. Um, I mean, everything checked out. You know, it was it was as good as what I thought it was going to be. But um, he said he has to use it this weekend. He was like, yeah, you know, I'll be in touch. I'll let you know and everything like that. So I was like, okay, cool. I messaged him today just to be like, hey, you know, if you are interested. No, actually, I messaged him yesterday. That's what it was. I messaged him yesterday. Sorry, my days are all mixed up. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, if you're still interested, just let me know. I'll mark the car as sold just so I don't keep getting messages because I have other people now who are wanting to either trade or buy the car. But if this guy wants to do the trade, I'll do the trade. But, you know, so that's where I'm kind of left at right now. He hasn't gotten back to me and I messaged him, I messaged him yesterday. So this guy, he's kind of like back and forth. Like one minute he's super hot, the other minute he's kind of cold. So I don't really know what to take of that right now, but I'll give him another day. But tomorrow, Friday, um, some younger kid wants to come look at the car. So if a dude doesn't come and if a dude doesn't like respond back to me, I might send him a message again tomorrow just saying like, hey, did you get my message? I mean, because in my message, I was like, you know, take your time. You know, if you want to do it, I'll mark it as sold so I don't get any more messages. Um, if you want to do it, I'll do it with you and I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I know he said he has to use it over the weekend, but he hasn't gotten back, you know. Well, yeah. Basically, if he wants to do it, I'll do it. And I told him, like, yeah, we can set it up sometime next week to, you know, to officially do everything. But I'll just mark it as sold now. Um, I messaged him that. I told him to take his time in it, but I kind of need, need like an answer. So I'll message him again. Uh, I know he did see the message because we're messaging on Facebook. Um, so I will message him again tomorrow. Just let him know, like, hey, I don't know. What are your thoughts? If he, did, if he doesn't respond, at, oh, there's a giant spider. Sorry, there's a giant spider there. Um, if he doesn't message me back, then I know either something went wrong or he's, not, or, or he's just not interested. I don't really know. But the main thing is, though, I made a huge mistake when I bought this car absolutely huge mistake i mean but as you can see the car is it's in great shape though still so i'm just kind of just looking at it i really made a mistake i kind of settled when i bought this i thought this would be a perfect project car for the channel but the more and more i thought about it the more and more i had it the less and less i drove it and the less and less i wanted to do anything to it especially because i have the challenger i mean they're two different vehicles but the challenger serves the same purpose as the mustang and the Challenger does everything just so much better. So why in the world do I still have the Mustang? That was kind of, that's my biggest issue. But yeah, let's sit down inside the car. Let's have a quick talk. <sighs> All right, guys. So like I was saying, I made a big mistake. And I actually just posted a post on the website, geekswithcars.com. If you're not following the website, go to the website, check it out. I'm posting stuff there. And I'm also posting stuff to my Instagram, Omega Greed, same name as the YouTube channel. One word, just Omega Greed. Um, so I'm posting the you know behind the scenes stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested, check that out. But I made the biggest mistake you can make when you're buying a car, and that is settling. I settled for something I didn't really want. Now I go into more details, you know, on the in the blog post, and also if you're you know new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I've said this like a million times. I'll say it really quickly right now. I originally was gonna buy a Jeep Cherokee. That's what I wanted, a Jeep Cherokee or a truck or something like that that can take off-road. Um, Cause I had a Jeep Wrangler, so obviously I had the Jeep Wrangler, that's what I kind of started my whole channel around. Um, I sold that, bought the Dodge Challenger, but I knew I wanted to buy another off-road centric vehicle. So every time I wanted to get a Cherokee, I was gonna get a Cherokee as my project car for the channel. That's what I was gonna do. Um, months go by, granted I was looking during the winter time, and I couldn't really find anything. All the, stuff, all the stuff that was out there was just kind of basically trash. Stuff was completely rusted out. I didn't see any, anything really good. Um, tried to schedule meetings with people and just it just didn't really work out. Um, so I kind of expanded my search from there. Started looking for like JDM stuff. Anything I thought was cool that kind of caught my eye. 
still wasn't finding anything, but then I just so happened to stumble across this posting for this Mustang, which is a 2000 V6 manual. And you know, it was, it was cheap for one and for two, I was like, okay, cool. It could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll get this. I went to go look at it. You know, it's a little bit rusty. wasn't too bad. Like the fender wells, the rear fender wells were, were you know, were rusty. Um, it's not exactly pretty or anything like that. But mechanically speaking, it was super sound, and it's you know, it's perfectly fine vehicle. Um, so I bought that. I was like, okay, cool. I could do stuff to this since I couldn't find any anything else. But I'm kicking myself now because, like, literally. A couple weeks later, I'm seeing all this, like just so much more stuff that's out there now that people are selling, especially now that the weather's gotten so much better. People are selling, you know, just way just nicer things. I'm seeing Miatas and stuff like that up for sale, which I would have bought like for the same price, well, a little bit more than this, but you know, in the same price range as the Mustang, which I would have much rather have purchased that than this Mustang. And, you know, I, like my, my biggest thing is I can't have three cars here. Like literally it's me, and my fiance and we have this other car here i can't have three cars just to myself so we have three cars you know between us i i literally i cannot have three cars here so i have to get rid of this car before i buy an another one and you know i might take a hit on it well obviously i'm gonna take a hit on the taxes and whatever else i'm selling the car for pretty much what i what i bought it for so i'm trying to recoup everything that i can um or trying to trade all right, sorry guys, I had to move the camera. It was way too hot inside the car. Anyways, like, like I was saying, so um, I'm gonna try to sell the car for as much as I possibly can just to recuperate my money, but obviously the money that I spent on, you know, uh, inspecting it, not inspecting it, just registering it, getting on, on the road and the insurance, stuff like that, I'm gonna lose that, that's fine. I completely understand that's on me. The biggest thing is I should not have settled. I knew what I wanted when I originally was looking for a vehicle, even though I couldn't find it at the moment. I should have just took my time a little bit more and I would have found the perfect vehicle. There's so many other cars out there, like literally there's, one, oh, there's cars right now on the marketplace that I would want to buy. So I'm like, man, I wish I would have just waited until now. Um, so this is a really hard lesson, honestly. And I'm just talking to you guys because you know you guys are my followers. So I want to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. I was going to turn this into a rally build because A, um, I was going to either thinking of making this into a track build, but then I thought to myself, it's not as fast as the Challenger and to do the work that I would need to do to it, it wouldn't really be worth it just because it, it is the V6. Even though it is a manual, still it's the V6. To make it like even kind of, I don't know, anything you kind of really do need to work off of the v8 platform even though the v8 platform for this generation of mustang isn't really all that fast it would have been a much better platform to build off of versus doing the v6 so i wouldn't i wouldn't want to do all this the suspension work just to have a v6 mustang that wouldn't really be all that competitive um inside this class so i couldn't really i was thinking about doing autocross with this thing but honestly i'd much rather do that with my challenger um just because that's a better platform to build off of for that type of driving then the other thing i was going to do was turn it into a rally style build because i wanted to use it more off-road and kind of use it like what i wanted to use the jeep for um the only issue with that is that um looking into it the lift kit that i have to do the suspension lift and everything like that it would be it would, it, it would be a lot. It would be honestly more than what the car is worth. And it's just the fact that this, it's it's not, I don't know, the more and more I thought about it, the more and more options, I'm like, okay, it's not really, it doesn't make that much sense to use this as the platform, which if I would have bought a Jeep or a truck, I could have taken it really more off-road, um, not necessarily inside of a competitive standpoint, like doing rallying, um, but just driving it off-road and that's really what i want to do because the closest rally stage to me is actually like hours away so i would have to technically tow it there like tow it back and it just it, it would have been a mess i do want to do rally racing eventually it's just right now i don't that's that's, that's not really what I, what I want to do my biggest thing is to grow my channel the whole point of buying this car was as an asset to the channel and the more, and more i thought about it the more and more i'm not driving it and not making content on it it doesn't make sense for it to be here um so I, at this point in time i went and gone clear off some space buying another vehicle it's just it's just a hassle this is completely on me i know that i know i'm probably going to get roasted in the comments people are like why would you buy a car you didn't really want blah 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 i know trust me i know this one's completely on me 
but I'm trying to use this as a lesson for anyone else out there. If you're looking to buy something, make sure that you get what you really want. So you're not like me. Don't be an idiot like me. And then a couple months later, you're like, I don't really like this. And uh, it doesn't really make, it doesn't serve a purpose. So I'm going to sell it. But yeah. The last thing I will say though, for the trade, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I still got to see. I mean, I would... I would like to do the trade with the dude. I mean, the dude was the one who reached out to me and said, hey, he has a, a truck he would like to do a trade with. Um, you know, I don't really want to say too much about it because I don't really know if, if it's going to go through, if it's not. I mean, he seemed interested. He seemed, like, genuine. Um, but at this point in time, I'm just kind of like, you know, what's going on? Do you really want to do it? Do you not want to do it? Do you know? So, because, yeah, we, we met up and we talked about it and everything like that. So, um, as you saw in the, pre in the first clip of this video, but, um, so I don't know. I mean, that would be a really cool, I think that would be a great addition to, to the channel. It would be something completely, it wouldn't be completely different, but it would it, it would make more sense in the fact that I like, I mean, I think a lot of my older viewers or people who came from the Jeep Wrangler content, they would like that as well. So I think that's where I'm headed at. So I definitely, it's, so once this is sold, either way, if I don't do the trade, I won't, you know, if I don't do, do the trade, either way, and if I sell it, I'm going to either, I'm going to definitely buy either a Cherokee or a truck. More specifically, I want a Ram, a second gen Ram. Um, and that's what I was looking at, a second gen Ram. I mean, I'm going to just tell you guys because it doesn't really matter. Um, not a Cummings, but like a 1500 because they're relatively cheap. And I think that's a good starting platform because a lot of like younger people as well, they buy those type of trucks because they, you know, they look like, the, you know, obviously they still are the second gen, just like the Cummings. But, you know, they look cool. They're just a gasser. Um, and honestly, that generation of ram i love the way that they look and i'm definitely i'm much more of like a mopar person versus ford or chevy i mean nothing really against them like my parents they're all gm like literally everyone in my family has gm vehicles my grandfather worked for gm like he, he retired from there um so like everyone in my family has gms i don't really like them that much i prefer the way chrysler their vehicles just look that's just my personal opinion like the jeeps you know dodges stuff like that so that's what i'm looking for so either Jeep or Dodge, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm make sure I'm not going to settle this time. This time I'm going to make sure I get what I want and the right one. So it has to have the four-wheel drive. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, honestly, that's pretty much it. Four-wheel drive and yeah, I guess that's pretty, that's like my biggest requirement and not like a piece of crap, not like a rusted piece of crap. Um, but yeah, so that's my biggest thing. Oh, and also preferably buy one if it's a Ram second gen, if it has a, already has a rebuilt transmission. That's the other thing. The transmission has to be rebuilt because I'm not trying to spend like 1500 bucks on a, rebuilding a transmission on like a $2,000 truck. So, uh, long story short, don't settle for what you want and get the right thing. But like that, I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, check out my channel. I have a lot of stuff on the Dodge Challenger RT, old Jeep Wrangler videos, and a couple videos on the Mustang, along with some other odds and ends stuff like that so check that out go to the website geeswithcars.com or follow me on instagram omega greed all one word same name as youtube channel but like that i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye